Well, hello there folks, how's it going? Hope you guys are all doing really good today. We're moving right along on this uh, <clears throat> Yamaha FG410A project. Uh, I've been putting quite a bit of time into it and uh, trying to get some of the hurdles out of the way. Uh, that being said, uh, I've got all the braces in the, in the uh, back of the guitar are all re-glued. It's quite a chore to do it and pretty much impossible to film it. Uh, I did shoot some videos on how I uh, actually pushed a few of the braces down into the back of the guitar again. Uh, it worked out great. Uh, they're all tight again. Uh, but that being said, uh, the uh, two X brace pieces here, this one is really loose. So we re-glued that. I mean, I could move it right back and forth. Uh, and where they cross, I also reinforced that with some glue. And this this one here seemed to be okay. I'm going to address it, though, uh, if it needs to be uh, re-glued. I haven't really had a chance to look at this one uh, that well. I couldn't move it around, but this one I definitely could. Uh, the other thing is you have these... Uh, these small braces here, okay. So these go around the uh, the sound hole, okay. And I've marked the one that goes in the back, which will go like this, in because we have an X brace here, right? So this goes pretty much right about here. Then you have one uh, on each side of the sound hole as well, okay. So those were. Uh, missing well they weren't missing two of them had fallen out and uh i'm missing one so what i'm doing right now is making a uh, third one uh because there it does take three there's no question about it all right so uh what i've done here is marked out the other side piece onto a piece that i actually uh thin down with a with a hand plane and I've got it cut to the right angle here and I've taken my razor saw and already uh, scored a line across there so uh, this will take care of the missing piece and uh, I'm going to try to do right now is get these glued in and I'll take the clamps off the uh, X brace that we glued earlier so I should be able to get these pieces glued in hopefully and while those are drying we're gonna pull the fret wire out of this guitar too because um, the uh, fret wire is down you know 30 thousandths and even below 30 thousandths in a few spots uh, I just know it's going to wear out really fast. It's really thin fret wire as well, so um, we're going to pull them out. I just ordered uh, some medium fret wire for it, so when that comes in, uh, we'll refret the guitar too, and that way we know it's going to last a, a long time and uh, should get many years of uh, playtime out of it. Okay, I'm going to get an X-Acto knife here and uh, hopefully not cut my hands and probably just kind of take it the rest of the way with this. There we go. Uh, makes a little shorter work time. Okay, so these are the two side pieces and they're right pretty much uh, exact. Okay, sorry I was out of the frame there. Uh, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to pull these clamps off uh, that's clamping this brace, which is already uh, dried and cured. And we'll get the clamps out of the way, and we'll try to concentrate on installing these three pieces here. And uh, once I get those clamped up, we will uh, more than likely uh, move on to the fret wire. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, there's one, there's the other one. Okay, so 
got a little bit of glue stuck on there, I guess. That's okay. That'll it'll come right off. It's just fish glue anyway. I'm using uh, drink coasters here made out of cork to protect the top and everything. So just wanted to point that out. All right, so now we got to sort these out and uh, get these uh, all orientated in the right direction. So this is the the back one, which should be like this. And we should have uh, one on the side like this. And the other one will go like that. Okay, so we're going to get the fish glue out. I'm going to clean this up with a little bit of sandpaper in here. And then we're going to glue these pieces in. And they should fit right in tight to the X brace, okay? So that's how you can kind of tell you've got them situated right. Uh, it's, it's pretty obvious when you uh, install them. You'll see it for sure. Okay, let's get the glue out and we'll get right to it. Okay, guys, we got a, a pretty good helping of fish glue on this one. And what we're going to do is just try to get it in there without making a mess. And what I'm doing here is I'm basically looking right under the edge of the sound hole in here. And I can see that 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 brace is a little crooked, so we just want to make sure we get it in there straight. That looks pretty good right there. And yeah, I think it's going to be good to go. I just want to double check that one more time, make sure it didn't move. Uh, no, that's all good, so uh, we'll just let this clamp do its thing. Uh, now, this is just a you know, like the top of a clipboard, basically a big spring clamp, and I've got cork padding uh, under it, so nothing will get it, and it won't uh, scar up the wood. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next one. I'm going to put a good, generous amount of fish glue on this one, too. I'm just using a, a rubber glove here to put this on it's not a really big deal uh, this stuff's pretty thick it doesn't just fall off there I can tell you that it's sticky like honey uh, it's really good stuff though highly recommend it okay so I'm gonna throw that glove in the garbage for now sorry about the camera bump in here okay so we're gonna do the same thing here uh, we just want to get that underneath. And this one is going to have to go kind of by feel here. But I can feel that the ends are on the correct angle or, or if they're not. Whoops, I dropped it down in there. Which is always a bummer. Okay, so I'm going to get it out of there. We gotta put some more glue on it. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna use this clothespin to do it this time. All right, and you know, this does have a pretty good working time, but you really, uh, you know, I wanna try to get this installed as soon as you can. Okay, so once again, we're just gonna try to get that underneath. And if you get some on the top of the guitar, don't worry about it because fish glue cleans up really nice. Uh, just a damp cloth and some water and you're good to go. Okay, so what we're going to use on this one is uh, one of these like uh, paper clamps, all right? These have a lot of holding power, so in she goes and that takes care of that one. And I gotta find a small clamp for the other side. That would do it, but it's a little bit bigger than I want, so I'm gonna seek out another one here real quick. Okay, well, I looked for the clamp as long as I could, and it's here somewhere on the bench, but I can't put my hand right on it, so 
Um, there we go. I'm just going to get this orientated in the right direction. That looks pretty good right there. Could, yeah, I could turn it maybe just a little bit. Yeah, that's it. It's nice and tight right there. Okay, we're going to get a clamp on this one too. I just want to make sure I got a good bite on it. Here, I got to move the clamp forward just a little bit. And yeah, that's the one right there. Okay, so that takes care of those right there. And uh, now we're going to move on to some fret removal, probably be the next uh, phase of it. And uh, we're getting close. We're, we're getting a lot of the loose ends tied up now here. And like I said, the frets are pretty low, so I think it'd be just best to take take them out right now and get it over with, okay? Well, let's get to it. Alrighty, folks, here we go. We got the soldering iron out, heating up. I've uh, ground a notch in the end of this one, so it's pretty much devoted just to fret work, okay? So what we're going to do here is just heat the fret wire up. I'm sure you guys have seen this done before. I know I have a bunch of videos on my channel uh, of fret work and fret removal, replacement, the whole thing's on there. So uh, there's multiple videos if you'd like to check those out as well. All right, so we just want to get this good and hot. I'm sure these are glued in, so uh, we just want to get it hot enough to melt the glue out, and uh, we'll proceed from there. All right. This is not my favorite uh, part of uh, guitar repair, but it is part of it, so... It's got to be done. All right, so once we get them started here, I'm just trying to get a feel for it and see if they uh, need to be heated more or, or what's going on. Uh, they're really low, I will say that, and had to get under. Uh, they were down quite low, like I said, so... I think I'm going to have to heat this one up a little bit more, folks. That's just that's what it is. Whoop. All right. I can see some glue out on the ends of them here, so... I don't know what these guys use for glue. These, uh, you know, guitars can be known for some different types of glue that you don't normally see. And they can be... Uh, really durable okay let's see if we can get that one started okay I guess that was the answer it was uh boy they're so low it's hard to even get under the middle when you get to the middle of the uh, fret wire there's just nothing to grab these are going to be tough, I can see. Okay, so I hate prying up on them like this, but I know it's hard for you guys to probably see this in the video, but I'll do my best. Okay, here we go. There we go. They're just so low when you get to the uh, middle of the... Uh, fret wire itself it's just extremely low uh, where they worn okay there's the first one so we know that they can be taken out uh, it doesn't look bad as far as chip out either really uh, I think I will do this though I didn't do it to that one I'm gonna just uh, score on each side of this fret wire with a knife 
And what that does, it just, it kind of helps from the uh, wood chipping out and peeling out when you uh, pull the wire out. Sometimes the uh, glue will be hooked to the wood and it can, come, can become very difficult to uh, get them out without pulling some of the fretboard with it. So it doesn't hurt. All right, number two, here we go. This guitar has undergone some major surgery in the past few days, I will say that. Uh, that's okay though. It's, uh, it's a good learning experience and it's also a good guitar and it's going to a good person, so I don't see any bad in it at all. All right, let's try that and see, uh, if we can get this one started. Usually if you can get them to start, you can get them going and just kind of walk across. But once in a while you run into some like these and they're just so low. And you gotta have a good set of fret pliers at that point. I made these myself and they work good. Uh, I've thought about buying some too, but I've had such good luck with these, there's no reason to uh, to get a new set. Well, that come out nice and clean. Uh, all right, let's carry on. All right, well, I took a few more out while you guys were on break, okay? Uh, they're coming out pretty good. It's still hard to get a hold of them, they're so low, so... Uh, I'm just going to take our time and heat them up really good. That helps too, I think. And I know it may expand the fret wire a little bit, but you just got to make sure you get the glue good and hot. Uh, that's holding the fret wire in too. And these are glued in, so uh, that's just how it is. I apologize for you guys not being in the shot, but uh, once I get this started, I'll try to show you what uh whoop. it's really hard to do this with one hand but i just want to show you what it looks like when you're going across with the pliers here uh, basically you're just taking small bites every time i even turn these ones around sometimes which seems to help okay so you just take a small bite and let the pliers just kind of lift the wire up on its own like that uh, you just can't go ahead too far because if you do then uh, you won't get a good bite on it again normally I would do this with two hands and it would look a lot easier like this you know what I mean so I was just trying to see if I could capture it on film for you what it looks like okay so there's another one and uh, I take my little, uh, little shoe shine brush and just kind of clean it up. There's a few little chips there, but not too bad at all. Uh, I may score these again uh, just to make sure. I've already done to the 12th fret, so it uh, should be good. But I'll hit them again just for good measure. Um, there we go. Just takes a good steady hand. Don't you don't have to push too hard, but it's good to make a couple passes across. Okay. Let's get this one hot. The frets are so low I have to watch it with my soldering iron. Uh the groove that I ground in there will normally uh keep the ends of the uh, the outer ends of the solder nine off the wood uh, but these are so low I have to kind of watch it out on the ends especially it's uh, burning the wood sometimes so there's something to keep in mind all right 
Again, I'm just trying to do this for the camera. Uh, normally I'd be running both hands on this and it'd go a lot easier and a lot faster, but I'm trying to do things for the camera too, that's all. Sometimes it doesn't always work out that well. I guess if I move my finger to the side, you guys can see a little better. Maybe if we do this too. Okay, sorry about that, folks, but I'm just trying to include you in the process, that's all. So you just take some little munches there and there you have it. Come out nice and clean. I'm just throwing these in the trash because they're uh, they're no good. They've had it, so. Sometimes I keep some of the frats that I remove if they're kind of an odd size or if they're a vintage frat or something like that. I may hang on to them. That way if you get a a guitar that comes in that just needs maybe a partial refret you could you could put those in and they may match you know what's already there and and the wear that's already on the uh existing frets that you want to leave instead of replacing so sometimes it can be helpful to hang on to a few uh but after a while it just becomes a big pile in your toolbox of used fret wire and there's really no use for it after it's gone through this okay i'm gonna see if i can get a good bite of boy these are coming out dry some of them they just just the way it is sometimes it helps if i turn my pliers around too But they, as soon as you uh, pop it out, it kind of pops right back down on you. Kind of odd. All right. We got it. There we go. One for the trash can. Okay, so I'm going to scoot along and do a few more here, folks. Okay, folks. There's a little different view. Sure you guys are getting sick of the other one, probably. Uh, I forget to stop and change camera angles sometimes, and it's just so hard to capture this stuff and actually work and and take pains in your work without getting your hands in front of the camera lens and blocking all the shots. So I appreciate you guys bearing with me and being patient and. I'm just trying to get the information as out there as best I can. Uh, hopefully I'll get better at it someday. Now when you, uh, when you start these, you want to get right out on the edge. And just take a couple small bites right there. Especially with ones like these. These are just coming out ex extremely hard. Probably the hardest fret removal I've done right here uh, to date. But we'll get there. See, I just spun my pliers around. Now I'm getting a little better bite here. And we're just going to munch our way across. And that's what you should hear is that click. When you know, when you hear that click, you got it popped out there we go yeah these are coming out really dry okay there it is another one for the trash can some minor chip out which i expected with this one anyway uh, this guitar has been through the ringer 
I've been replacing braces on it uh, for two days. I still have uh, four more braces to put in under the top. A uh, couple tone bars and a couple short braces that I got to figure out the orientation on those ones too. So I'm just kind of taking this slow and I figured I'd do this while I had some downtime and letting some glue dry and uh, it's got to be done anyway so I figured I might as well just get it over with and pull these out get the fretboard prepped and ready I'll have fret wire for it next week so uh, should be good it should be up and running next week without any problems all right, see, I'm just going too fast and getting ahead of myself here. And there we go. You just can't try to take a big munch every time. Just little baby bites on that thing every time. And it's not really labor intensive. It's just small increments. Okay, let's keep going. I do recommend doing this. Take a tip or an old soldering iron and just, uh, you know, delegate it to this cause if you're going to be doing this kind of stuff. Uh, you really, you're going to need to heat your fret wire up 90% of the time. Some people don't glue them in. Uh, a lot of people do, so just keep that in mind. All right, that should be good and hot. Let's get out on the edge. Oh. All right. It's so hard to just move them pliers in in increments to get it going, but all right. Now that one's coming out pretty good. that's what what you want to hear every time that little click and then you know they're coming out clean all right well we're getting there whoop just burnt the wood a little bit right there it didn't uh like scar it or stain it but it did smoke it for a second again these frets are really low this guitar's definitely been played a bunch. And they're really narrow frets, too. Uh, I'm going to put mediums in it. This thing should play really smooth then. All right, let's see what we got right there. All right. If these weren't so low I would have left them but I guarantee you'd be having string bars and it wouldn't be that fun to play okay I'm gonna spin my pliers around and see if that makes a difference there we go it really doesn't take a lot of pressure on your pliers it's just a lot of it has to do with the radius of the fretboard and how low the fret wire is to begin with. And that's really the hardest thing to uh, get out is just you got really low frets. It's going to be tough anyway if they're glued in. It's going to make it harder. And if you have a big radius or a really round radius, then... That's going to make it tough, too. It's usually right out in the middle is the uh, biggest problem. And that's what I'm running in here, running into here with this one today. It's just they're really worn in, in the middle and out on the edges, too, as well. All right, let's see what we got right there, guys.
Boy, that one is tough. I don't know if I can get under it. I think I did. Yeah, I did. All right, I'm gonna spin my pliers. Boy, some of these are really coming out some dry. That was one of them. But once I got it on the run, come out pretty good the rest of the way. All right, you guys getting bored yet? There's probably nobody even watching this video at this point. Well, if it's any uh, consolation, I'm not having a ball either really doing it, but it's just part of the gig. I try to make it enjoyable at least, and uh, if, it, if it did make me... Uh, nerved up then I probably wouldn't do it so okay oh. all right guys stuck in there like the like glue holding it or something in the middle too okay there we go all right well I'm gonna probably reset the camera here folks all right we only got a few left you might as well hang in for the the duration guys I'll try to make it quick I don't know if you guys saw my little video I did on the uh, cheap tuner uh, hack, you know, the uh, your tuning keys on your guitar, the, like on this one, they're really inexpensive and there's no way to tighten them up. And uh, I did shoot a video on how to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, take the back apart. And it's just a simple hack, just crimping a couple pieces of metal and uh, tightens them right up, just like new again. I used to throw them in the garbage because they, they just, I could never get them to stay and it just seemed like it'd be better to replace them. Oh. Boy, these are coming out some dry. Okay, got that one on the run. Hopefully. All right. All right. We have four more and we're done. If you guys made it this far, thanks for sticking along. And I know it's been a long ride, but. Uh, I'm trying to do a lot of stuff in real time, if you guys haven't noticed. Give you a real feel for what it is like doing this instead of just cutting from one shot to the other and making it look like it happens in 10 minutes when it actually doesn't. But Well, it's a game of patience. If, if you have a patient kind of mindset this is a good good thing to get into it's kind of relaxing sometimes uh i don't get too wound up about any of it i just take it one step at a time if you need to stop and take a break take a break that's what it is you're the boss right well we'll get this one heated up good and then we're just down to the other two and be in good shape All 
right, two more folks, and we got a And they're coming out pretty good still. Not a lot of chip out. You can just see some places where the tangs went in, you know, when they drove them in and and also pulling them out probably. But this medium fret wire I'm putting in here will cover all that up anyways. You'll never even know I was here. So it'll just seem like a brand new guitar with new frets. Okay, all right folks, we're down to the last one. Thank goodness, huh? Well, one thing, it's done and out of the way. I won't have to worry about it. And I can work on the fretboard a little bit and get that kind of cleaned up and, and uh, we'll be in good shape. I've got, like I said, four more braces to put in the inside the on the inside of the guitar and uh, that should take care of the uh, structural work and we'll be just down to uh, refretting it and a little bit of cosmetic work and then we'll see what it needs it might need a new knot and a new saddle we don't know uh, when we change the fret wire it's going to be a little taller than this that's for sure so we may have to put a new nut in and a new saddle and if that happens uh, it happens we'll take care of it when we get there okay folks here we go the last one all right I'm gonna try to give that a thumbs up in the camera there it is well thanks so much for sticking along guys I really appreciate it and I uh, hope this is some of this is valuable to you, or at least just relaxing to listen to. And uh, thanks again. We'll see you real soon. Okie doke.